Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to style a fancy focus state so that it matches with your project but it's still accessible. So we're going from this to this. Let's get into it. I am here with my lovely customized password input and if you would like more information about how to create this input along with the password visibility toggle, I will link to a video above. But for now, let's stick to our focus state. By default, input boxes come with this blue outline, which is great for accessibility, but might not match with your projects, especially if you have a different color scheme or like in my case, rounded corners on your inputs, because it's not currently possible to reliably give rounded corners to outlines. But we want to keep the focus state because we want our site to be nice and accessible. So instead, I will style it in a different way, which I will show you now. To do this, we do input, focus, and then what I could do is change my outline color to match the color I have used in my input field. But you will see that does not solve the problem of the gaps in the corner. So I'll comment that out for now. And instead, I will add box shadow of not, 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 four pixels, and then the color I have used in my input. Let's give that a go. So you will see that is showing up. However, the outline is still appearing over the top of it. And to get around that, what we can do is change our outline color to transparent. So you'll now see we have only our lovely deep cerise, I guess you would call it, color. The reason it's good to use outline color transparent is because if you used outline zero, you would have the same effect. However, this would cause some problems for users using Windows higher contrast settings because they would override that and the box shadow, leaving them with no focus state, which is not what you want. But if you use outline color transparent, both of these will be overridden and then they will have the default focus state. So we'll leave that like this. If you are eagle-eyed, you will notice that the black border, which is on our input, is still visible in the focus state, which you might not want. So what you can do is change the border color to match our nice deep purpley color. And now it is shining through in all its glory. But to be extra sure that our focus state is nice and obvious, I'm also going to add a nice background color, which is this yellow. So we now have more than one indicator that this has been focused. Woohoo! Now you may be wondering what happens if you already have a box shadow on your input like this. Because we have used the box shadow for our focus state, if you now click into it, you'll see that you lose the box shadow, which is just there for the style. Do not worry, you can get around that by adding the box shadow to our focus state box shadow. So that goes in there and then we combine them into one. And you'll now see that we are keeping our box shadow, which is just there for decoration and also using it for our focus state. Lovely. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any other tips for styling input fields, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this, please consider hitting like and or subscribe. That would really make my day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.